All right, guys, so today is Thursday, October the 21st, and it's actually National Reptile Awareness Day. So we're gonna have a little fun today. We're actually gonna go through the store and we're gonna count just how many different kinds of reptiles we have uh, in stock at the moment. So I've never actually done this before. I know we have a lot, but I've never actually taken a count. So we're gonna go ahead, go around and see how many we have. We have a ton. Uh, if you've ever wanted a reptile as a pet, you have lots of choices. Um, there's a lot more than just your typical uh, beer dragons, uh, crested geckos, leopard geckos, ball pythons. Those are usually the top ones that people will get as pets, but there are so many more. And we're gonna try to show you a little bit of everything today. So let's go get started. Alrighty, we'll start at the very front. We've got redfoot tortoises. We got a yellow Saharan Euromastic somewhere in here. Are you hiding? I see you. I see you. Then of course we have bearded dragons. I'm counting on my fingers how many species that is. That's three so far. We got ball pythons of course. That's four. And then of course our baby crested geckos. That makes five. Oh, and can't forget blue tongue skinks. And yes, they really do have blue tongues. <laughs> and it's not from eating blueberries. Nope. And then lucky number seven are our Herman's tortoises right here. And we've got Mr. Slinky. He's not for sale, but we usually do have uh, green tree pythons in that we sell. What are you doing, buddy? And inside here we've got Kenyan Samboas. Here's our little African fat tail gecko. A lot like the leopard geckos. And then here's one that's darn cute. This is our this is one of our red tailed boa babies. Looks like he getting ready to shed or something. Or he needs an eye cap shed. And up here we've got our lone sulcata tortoise left. And then our Russian tortoises. They look a lot like the Hermans, but they are different. Giant day geckos are always a staple here as well. Yeah. Hi, buddy. You got a Y on your face. That's cute. And then toke geckos, they're another staple of the store. We always get those in. Definitely not the friendliest of uh, geckos. And then grass lizards, these guys are really cool because their tails are like three times the length of their real body. And he's hiding over there. And his tail goes all the way down and wraps around. <laughs> and step runners, got some baby ones of those. Those are lizards that stay very little. Kind of cool. And then we've got some newer species of geckos that we got in for this year. We got the Ibity Ground geckos. And one of them actually uh, produced a baby. So I put that one already sold. But it was so tiny. Then here we got the Masters of Disguise, the Indonesian tree boas that look like vines. And they act like vines too, they just hang down there. <laughs> They just hang out on the branches all day, and they eat lizards. Now here is a species that we don't get in very often. It sleeps all day on this leaf, all curled up like a little kitty cat. It's the Malaysian cat gecko. <laughs> yeah, hi buddy. But he comes awake at night. And of course, we got some more staples. We got our Bahamian anoles that are gonna go hide. We got Brazilian rainbow boas. One of them's hiding back there, actually. You can see his spots. And they're called rainbow boa because they have a very beautiful rainbow iridescence when you shine light on them. And here's one of our pretty blood pythons. We actually have a pair of blood pythons here at the shop that produce babies about every other year or so. Very gorgeous. And then hiding down there, 
he was on a branch, but I will brought him up a little bit closer. That's one of our gargoyle geckos. These guys, you gotta keep them themselves because they will usually attack each other, whether it be two girls or two boys or a boy and a girl. So, gotta be careful with these guys. But we usually always have these in stock. Then right up here, we got our new lychees that we have for sale. We usually just have Stumpy, our store's pet. But now we've got actual adult lychees for sale. We got one of them in here. We can't keep them together because they'll fight, so we gotta keep them one at a time. And we'll let Mr. Red over here be the example of our red tegus. We have one in stock right now, but it's hiding. <laughs> Yeah, that's our big boy there. And that's how big they'll get when they get full grown. All right, now we're gonna add a lot to the list. We got an albino Florida king snake. We got a tangerine hunter and milk snake somewhere in there. A black and white king snake. And a corn snake, of course. And let's see, these are all corn snakes, so they don't count. That's another black and white king snake. And this is the Mexican black king snake. Those guys, those guys get pretty big. This little guy basking right here, this is our box, Bosque fringe toad lizard. This is relatively newer too. And here we have a fan footed gecko. Now I'm not gonna bother him because he's pretty, um, pretty skittish. But they got really cool fan shaped feet. I'll throw a picture of it up here for you. And in here, these guys are pretty popular. These are golden geckos, but they look really red right now because of the light. <laughs> they look kind of pink on camera. They're hiding. Then over here, we've got our anoles, our green anoles, instead of the Bahamans. And then we got our Jackson's chameleons up here. They're, they're busy climbing around. He's on the move. Species on this wall is our leopard gecko. These guys are really cute. They're kind of sleepy too because it's the middle of the day. And here's another type of chameleon, the panther chameleon. She's just chilling out there, trying to blend in with the stick, aren't you? Well, not the stick, I would call it a branch. And here's our frilled dragon eating his dinner. He's very cute eating his dinner. Then inside here, we've got some, cent well, one Central American banded gecko. Kind of similar to the fat tail, except it doesn't have a fat tail. It's a little bit smaller. And then here we've got our sandfish. They're actually called sandfish skinks. They're a type of skink because they swim through the sand. Uh, but in our case, it's walnut shell. <laughs> then right over here is a white spotted gecko. I'm not sure where he is. He's probably in the uh, skull. We've had this little guy forever. Are you in the skull? Are you gonna freak out? No, you're not gonna freak out. But there he is. He's like, you can't see me if I sit still long enough. <laughs> Here's another TDI staple, the marble geckos. They're very, they're very similar to the golden geckos. They just have a different pattern. They got that more marbled appearance, hence the name. And they're very skittish. <laughs> Now here's the one that everybody thinks is a snake, but is really a lizard. It's the European legless lizard. They're eating their dinner too. One, there's another one in there crawling around somewhere. Only this guy's out and about for dinner. Right up here, see those little bug eyes? That is our veiled chameleon. I think we just have one baby left in stock right now. But he is hanging out there. She is hanging out there. He's like, I'm gonna hide. And here's our last species at our shop for sale. The Reagan's Dragon. And with them, it makes a total of 46 different species we've got at our store right now. So, yeah, there's a lot more than what you might think. 
All right, so as you can see, we have like close to 50 different species here at one time of different reptiles. And uh, I mean, it can go a little lower or it can get even more depending on what we get in stock and everything. But it just goes to show you that there are lots of different species out there. Lots of cool things for you to try. Uh, if you're kind of bored with the same old, same old, we got some more exotic ones up here. So yeah, in honor of Reptile Awareness Day, just want to make people aware that, hey, there are lots of different kinds of reptiles out there they can have with all sorts of different care requirements, uh, skill level, and all that different stuff. So if you ever want to know about a certain species, you can always give us a call or email us, ask us in the comments, and we're always here to help you guys out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.